The Microsoft advertising platform recently implemented a new policy where they will no longer allow us advertisers and media buyers to block our ads on their audience network. What does that mean? Basically, all of our search ads will now appear on websites that are linked to their publisher programs, similar to the display network on Google ads. Now, if you're running Google search ads, you know that when we set up campaigns, we still have the ability to block the display network from our campaigns. However, on Microsoft search ads, now that option is disabled and our ads are showing everywhere. I'm gonna show that inside here, how we can block this from our campaigns to get our performance back to where it was. Now, some people are happy with this change because they're starting to see more conversions in their campaigns. They're getting more traffic for their clients. But for the most part, this traffic isn't converting for the majority of campaigns. And the reason for that simply comes down to the intent of the visitor. When you're setting up search ads, you're targeting specific keywords for people to click on. They're searching for a specific problem or a specific solution, and you're putting your ad right in front of them. When people are on websites like msn.com, they have absolutely zero intent. They're not there to do any type of search. They are there to read the news, maybe browse the internet. They have no intent of buying anything at this time. So the type of ad you're using, which is a search ad, just isn't going to normally work for that audience. So how do we block it and what are we gonna do about it? Let me show you that right now. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon for notifications of all my new videos if you like this type of content. Let's get into it now and talk about this problem. So here we are on msn.com and basically what we're gonna be seeing here are some display ads. And sometimes these display ads are actually people who are targeting the Microsoft advertising audience network and they're showing ads. Usually these types of ads are catering to a broad mass appeal audience, similar to native ads. If you've ran native ads, I've talked about that on my channel before, native ads. And you can see that these types of ads are much different than your typical search ad. If you go to bing.com and do a search for anything, you're going to see specific search ads. So what's happening here in our campaigns is we're starting to see that if you come into your campaign list, let's just pick a campaign here for an example and, and select network over here, you're going to start to see some audience. Now this campaign doesn't have much traffic from the audience network because when that change came into effect, I in fact paused it for a minute and regrouped and checked out some of the stats I'm gonna show you here in a second. But basically you can see here that you can now see audience network clicks. Now how do we block this? Back in the day, you would go into your ad group settings and you would scroll down to the bottom here where it says add distribution and you'd have the ability to block the audience network but now you can see here all options include search and audience ads you cannot block it even if i select one of the other options here i'm still going to be getting the audience network ads and there's no way to block that from my campaign right now which is unfortunate and the reason for that is probably because they want to just make more money. I have no idea. It's kind of uh, sad that they're taking away that ability. And I also find that their AI and their automated bidding isn't nearly as advanced as Google or Facebook. So really, we're, we're stuck here. But there is a way to block these placements. And I'm going to show you that quickly here. One of the things you can do is either use your own third-party tracking software. So in my case, I use CPV Lab Pro. And when I come in, I can see the referring domains inside of my campaign. And I can see that some of these domains are in fact not search from Bing or Yahoo or anything like that. It's actually these, these weird websites here. Um, for some reason I have Snapchat here, but you have in browser app, onesearch.com, smartnews.com. These are all sites that are showing my ads, my search ads, and I need to block those from my campaign. Another way to get that report is to come into the actual Microsoft advertising platform, click on reports, and come up here to website URL publisher. This is going to give you all of the websites in all of your campaigns. So it's a little different, different than using your own campaign level tracking. So you're going to have to add filters here and filter out by the actual campaign and your ad group if you want, and you'll start to see the actual website. So let's just do that quickly here. So what I've done is I've just selected all time to show an example here. And what you can see here is the ad distribution is audience. And if I want to filter and just do the ad network here, I can do that I'm over here. I can select filter the network and I just want to see the audience ads. 
So what I'll now see is all of the domain and website URLs, and then I can sort by impressions here. And then I can see which ones are really eating up my budget and I can block those here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now let's just look at one for an example here. Uh, postfund.com, that doesn't sound like that would convert at all. Nope, of course not. So if I wanna block postfund, so what I could do here is just take this URL and go into the settings of my campaign now. And inside your campaign settings, you can now see that you can exclude websites from showing your ads. So this is where you can see I've got a, a large list of websites that I've already blocked on this campaign. And I've also blocked some IP addresses from my own internal tracking platform that I uh, monitor inside CPV Lab Pro. So I can make those exclusions here and I can block that at a campaign level. You can also speed up things. You can download the whole report from the website URL report and you can come into a tool like Microsoft uh, Ads Editor and you can do it right from the Microsoft Ads Editor, post them all. So here inside the Microsoft Ads Editor, you can simply choose your campaign over on the left and up here in advanced options, you can add website exclusions and you can paste a whole bunch of websites in here. If you want, you can do add campaign website exclusions or add ad group website exclusions. Now, for if you wanna do account level exclusions on your entire account, you're going to need a manager account with the Microsoft Ads uh, account. So basically you're gonna come in here and you can go to tools and you can also do website exclusion lists, but here you must have a manager account so if you want, you can just use for now the campaign level. You can copy and make your own master sheet of URLs that you know are never going to convert for you. And you can add that as a website exclusion inside each campaign you set up now as an added step when you're setting up your campaigns. Hopefully that's been helpful for you. If it has, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the content, post a comment. If you have any other questions or comments or anything you wanna see covered on this channel, please post it down below so I have an idea of what content to make for next week. Thanks a lot, see you in the next video.